Hey, Bill Shaka here. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Okay, today... I, I've, I've gotten a, a couple of emails. I keep track of emails by category. <coughs> and I got a few emails on eradication of fear and the development of courage. Now, I, I've combined those topics myself. They were never, this, they were never in one email. But I want you to think about something. I mentioned this in earlier episodes. Fear does not exist. Fear is a negative. It has what we call in metaphysics no principle. Courage is a positive. It's real. Courage has principle. How do you get more courageous? Well, the easiest way is to dissipate fear. Get rid of fear and courage takes its place. You, But here, here's the thing you need to think about. You don't overcome fear. You simply leave it behind. As we say in, in meditation, you become disinterested in it. And when you become disinterested, you don't focus your attention on it. One of the best ways, I think, you can that that you can use to develop greater senses a greater sense of courage by reducing fear is this be kind kindness is a tremendous tool for developing courage because it tends to leave fear behind now i don't know what kind of situations you're going through in your but I can say this, that in general, when I am kinder, I become more courageous. I become less fearful, which means, by definition, I become more courageous. Since courage is the absence of fear, I can uh, remove fear by becoming kinder. Now, there could be some philosophical leaps in here for you. You may not be able to follow the logical progression, and we only have a few minutes, so I'm really not able to spend a great deal of time connecting all the dots. But I, I, I'm not, that's not the purpose of the 5-Minute Motivator. The purpose of the 5-Minute Motivator is to give you something to chew on, and then you fill in the blanks however you see fit. So, one of the best things we can do to eradicate fear and thus build courage <coughs> is to be kind, kinder to other people, people that we really may not want to be kind to, people that we may openly dislike. Stop it for a second and think about what levels of kindness may be able to do to that relationship. And then think about other things that you might try because of that renewed relationship. Those things that you try, those new things that you try, that's courage. Bill Shaka, thanking you for your time. Looking forward to seeing you in the next edition of the 5-Minute Motivator.